If you want to get a, a simpler grasp on the growth of the government, let's take a look at this chart that shows us spending by governments from 1789 all the way to today with consistent $2,005. When you look at that chart, you'll see very quickly that the increase in the spending of the government began really in earnest at the turn of the 20th century and has continued unabated since then. What is the government in spending all this money trying to control? Well, again, going back to 1789, if you look at the formation of the government, you see that there were only four cabinet positions back then. Today, there are 15 cabinet positions. So what is it the government is trying to control? It's trying to control labor, which is why there's a Department of Labor. It's trying to control money and banking, which is why there's a Department of the Treasury. It's trying to control commerce, which is why there's a Department of Commerce. All of these agencies are examples of where the money is going in the government's intervention in the economy. There may be no more significant cabinet level intervention than the issue of education, where 15% of national, state, and local budgets go. Let's consider the intervention of the government in the realm of education.